Alrighty folks, um, just want to roll them through uh, <coughs> our drive shafts. Now, or I should say, I believe, uh, pro propeller shafts is the uh, correct name for these guys. Now, this has been a bit of a saga. Uh, in fact, the entire differential swap me over this side, maybe I'll be able to see it a bit better. In, fa in fact, the entire differential swap has been a saga. Uh, but I think when we have the car on the road, uh, we'll be able to see the uh, merits of uh, that. Now, <clears throat> basically, um, as I covered in another video there, we have the 530D differential installed uh, with the 530D half shaft, so that was perfectly fine. So this then left us uh, with the propeller shaft. Now, I was very fortunate uh, to find uh, an engineering works uh, not that far away that actually specialise in drive shaft, uh, <sighs> propeller shafts, and um, they, you know, the guy that I was dealing with there uh, knew exactly what he was talking about. Now, <clears throat> on the face of it, as I think I covered on the last video, uh, we were looking at, very simply, uh, taking the end of the 530D prop shaft and grafting that with a little bit of a shorten uh, onto the 520 petrol and that would have been fine. So uh, I dropped the bits over to the, to the propeller shaft guy um, oh maybe 10 days ago or so and uh, the guy said to me yeah he said listen he said um, I'll have that done for you for uh, the following Saturday so I said great so uh, last Saturday morning, um, the guy gave me a call, and, and, and I was uh, fully thinking, oh, well, you know, shaft uh, all done and be able to slap that into the car. Well, we had a bit of a hiccup. Turns out, the 530D uh, shaft, predictably enough, uh, is steel. But guess what, sports fans? The 520 petrol, aluminium, not good. So I was also quite fortunate, I'm going to get off my knees here, I'm starting to get too old for this stuff. I was very fortunate uh, in that I also met um, a guy uh, not too far away uh, that does some very nice custom uh, builds on BMWs and has a lot of spare parts <clears throat> and he had basically got this wo wooden packing case uh, full of the um, W drive shaft nah. okay I'm just going to call it a drive shaft uh, so last Saturday I uh, was pretty much spent driving in a triangle uh, between my house uh, the BM guy and the drive shaft guy and we were getting into all kinds of things at one point uh, I had about um, you know I basically had about I don't know uh, 10 drive shafts uh, from various BMs from E30s, E36s, E38s, E39s it was like a bl bloody factory um, but Eventually, um, we came up with a solution because what we initially thought that we could do was to simply split uh, shafts here in the middle, use the front end, uh, just leave it in aluminium from the 520 and just graft on, uh, we had a 7 40, we had we had a 750, we were trying all kinds of ends on to see if we could graft them on but either the spline was a different size or it was a different um, d a different no number of splines or they were like at one point we nearly had it 
and uh, we had, I think it was a 740 um, back end and a 520 front end and the splines were the same number of splines, it looked perfect. We tried to fit them together, no go. Mike the thing out, I think we were less than 0.1 millimeters beaten by this thing. So, a lot more driving around and routing through the drive shaft bin. And we eventually came up with the, the following fix. Um, what we have here, from the center bearing back is stock 530D. And from the center bearing forward, uh, that's where we needed to do the custom work. So what we did was, uh, this portion here, uh, between the drive shaft tube and the spline, is 530D. This uh, piece in the middle is uh, <coughs> basically, 3 inch uh, drive shaft tube, which is a seamless uh, stress relieved uh, tube and I only sound like I know what I'm talking about because I listened to the guy that was uh, talking to me. And up at the far end we're going to bolt up to the gearbox from the drive shaft tube <coughs> to the I think it's called the Guibo flange, is 318 IS E36. A standard 318, no go, but the, tree, the 318 IS uh, seem to be quite happy with that. So, basically what we're going to do now is we're going to try to fit this Franken shaft uh, into the car and uh, with a bit of luck um, we should be all set. So, um, bit of a bit of a uh, song and dance, uh, guys. But let's give it a try. See what happens, and uh, hopefully we'll be rolling. Stay with us. Okay, folks. Uh, hope this is going to come out. Um, here we see our gearbox end, and uh, our shaft is bolted onto the donut. Sorry about the Blair Witch camera work here, but kind of uh, a little bit constrained. I'll try and turn the shaft feeder. You can see the three bolts are now in place. Uh, so this is our 318 IS um, end uh, between the flange and that weld joint. Then down along the shaft, uh, as far as the center bearing as far as this weld I should say we have our uh, 3 inch drive shaft tube <coughs> and then from here on back uh, from that w weld uh, center bearing uh, spicer joint all the way back down as far as our differential flange uh, we're 530D so that's it and fits perfectly uh, bolted up so I'm gonna go ahead and put it on its feet and see if the damn thing drives. Stand by folks. Well folks uh, I'm pleased to report that operation differential uh, has been a success and um, even just there now just uh, driving just around the block just on the front uh, battery box of 10 cells um, car just feels uh, so much better so I think uh, when the rest of the cells come in now hopefully in about a week to 10 days uh, we'll get them in and uh, we, can, we can start doing some proper test driving so it was a bit of an um, it was a bit of a journey but we got there so uh, stay with with us folks and uh, we'll have some uh, more test driving coming soon thanks for watching <laughs>